Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Well, if you're returning from holidays or have already done so and seen our recent report, you might be concerned to see that our outperformance above the benchmark isn't as good as what it once was. You're probably used to expecting annual outperformance. And in fact, if we go back to the inception of the fund, it's certainly the case that we've been outperforming and we continue to do so. However, the extent of that outperformance is much less. Have a look at this chart going back to the inception of the Montgomery Fund. And you can see that almost since the outset, we've been in outperforming the ASX 300 accumulation index. But it's this period here, 2016, where you'll notice a change. You can see that the performance of the Montgomery Fund is slightly negative, while the index has surged ahead. And it's this period, 2016, I want to focus on. You'll notice that the surge in the index over 2016 is at least partly explained by this chart here, which is a chart of the S&P ASX 100 Materials Index. That Materials Total Return Index increased by almost 73% over the course of 2016. And that's partly because the companies in it rose so much. You can have a look at the following example, BHP, which was up 58.3% over the course of 2016. Now other companies in this index, for example Fortescue Metals, surged by even more. and Fortescue Metals was up 248% in 2016. But are these the sorts of businesses that we want to own in the Montgomery Fund? We'll have a look at this particular table. You'll notice I've broken down the performance of the business into some essential components. What we're doing is we're looking at the equity contributed by investors, so the new capital that's been put in by the owners of the business. We're looking at how much money was reinvested by the owners of the business. And we're looking at how much additional money had been borrowed. Now, looking, turning to the table again, you'll see that uh, the equity contributed over the course of the last 10 years has increased by $1.4 billion. In other words, shareholders have contributed an extra $1.4 billion of their own money. They've written checks for that amount. You'll notice that they've reinvested their profits, so rather than taking this money as dividends, they've contributed another $34.5 billion for reinvestment. And you'll also notice that shareholders have been happy for the company to borrow an extra $34.3 billion, increasing the debt from $14.6 billion in 2006 to $48.9 billion in 2016. Now with all this additional money, you would expect the company's profits to go up. If you gave me an extra $60 or $65 billion or $70 billion and I simply put that in a bank account, the interest I would be earning would be much higher than before you gave me that money. So what has BHP, the business, done with that money of yours? Well, what you can see has happened, instead of profits going up from 2006, they've actually declined substantially. From $16.3 billion in 2006, to $1.9 billion in 2016, a fall of $14.4 billion. These aren't the sort of economics that we're interested in at Montgomery. And those economics help explain why the share price for BHP, while it might have gone up in the last year, has fallen over 44% on this chart since 2008. At Montgomery, we don't believe that the economics of BHP are going to change so dramatically that this sort of performance won't be uh, repeated in the future. And so for the time being, we're steering clear. That means we'll stick to our tried and true formula of investing in high quality businesses over the long run when their prices are available at attractive levels. It's not likely you're going to see that philosophy change, but you will see share prices change. In the interim, when resource companies rally hard and we're not invested in them, we will probably underperform again in the future. But that doesn't mean we change our philosophy. At Montgomery, our investors should know what they're getting. And what they're going to get is a portfolio that concentrates on what we believe to be businesses with very high quality economics, with bright prospects for the long term. Look forward to seeing you again next week 
In the meantime, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.